Hi, this is Shadi. This footage I've been looking for so long and finally I did have something to work with. Um, Germany, World War II. I have been trying to find this for such a long time and finally I have something to work with. I've covered world wars in the past, the Japanese, the Americans, but the Germans. Now I finally found something. So this is a footage of, I believe, the Swiss Army, but it also has the Wehrmacht training uh, with shovel defense. Now, when it comes to the Waffen SS, here you see them. They, I didn't see any grappling per se, but I did find a lot of athletic type training things that you would see usually in Olympic Games. Uh, here you see English boxing, also. Uh, fitness and endurance such as swimming, running, uh, climbing, these types of disciplines that would give you a lot of agility and uh, endurance. Here you see skiing. I do believe I've discussed skiing when it came to the Japanese army, the Imperial army. Here you see some uh, wrestling uh, where you are on the shoulders of your teammate. Here is some shot put. Again, a lot of Olympic disciplines that would build a lot of athleticism and endurance. Now, uh, the Wehrmacht will have some grappling and I will show it to you. A lot of techniques actually. But here the Waffen SS, which I do believe they were uh, the highest in terms of prestige and uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, this is what they somewhat did. Uh, the only martial art I found was some boxing footage. Maybe there's a lot more, but for now, this is all I can find. I've been trying for years to find some German training footage from the World Wars here you see. This was the Waffen SS. So now uh, let's go to the um, Wehrmacht. And here you see an attempt at an arm entanglement to defend against a shovel attack shovels have been used as weapons back even in the first world war and uh, they are a very dangerous weapon especially if they're sharp on the edges and so you see here very similar to what we just saw into an arm entanglement and then you dislocate the shoulder once you reach the ground so Imagine it's a shovel or any type of club, you can do it and finish with an O Soto Otoshi to help get them to the ground and finish the lock once you're in a dominant position. Um, another thing that we can see here is a sneak attack from the back or, no, excuse me, from the front and finished into a scuffle on the ground. So here, it looks like a Tai Otoshi, very well done, I should say. And here you go down and then try to get a favorable position for the kill. So Tai Otoshi, you can see it in a lot of disciplines. Uh, in no gi, it can be very good to do if you have a wrist grip and then push on the inside of the elbow, that can create a very good Tai Otoshi. Uh, as it is a hand technique, not a, a trip per se, because it's just you positioning your body and then cutting down with the hand, much like a sword gesture. So here, you see you can lift up with the lapel, you can do a cross lapel, you can do on the inside of the elbow. It is a very versatile throw and aesthetically pleasing and very effective as well. So can also have as we saw someone charging at you you can take their momentum rotate and then uh, use it now here if we have two people fighting with their uh, shovels or bayonet and someone loses their weapon your best bet is to close the distance and fight now here clearly he was trying to go for a shoulder throw or an ippon Seoyanage, but ended up being a roll and a sacrificing technique. So I do believe this was what he was going for. You can see this technique in the first kata of judo. So it is a very uh, 
popular scenario to be found in army or self-defense then you throw over the shoulder cutting down with your hands not a hip technique but like a lot of judo techniques um, a lot of them end up having a sacrificing version of them so here you see uchi makikomi after a stuck or a failed shoulder throw you can roll and then wrap them around you as you take them down sacrificing uh, yourself it's not the only technique that if you fail you end up sacrificing yourself there is harai makikomi there is uchimata makikomi and so forth so um, this technique can be quite uh, effective you can see the shoulder is quite crammed and stuck and also they can end up diving straight on their face i do believe i've seen it in the octagon as well so all makikomi throws can be very effective and very dangerous hane makikomi in my opinion is the most dangerous so again once you lose your weapon your best bet is to close the distance and try to grapple so here you create some resistance backwards so they can go forward and then here you can see a closed guard as well here um, i do believe it looks like a body lock takedown and then try to get on top and finish the fight because you cannot afford to be too long on the ground when it comes to war so um, what did catch my attention is this here the push and then release and they're ending up in a tomoe nage or a circular throw i believe it is a sacrificing throw a classic in jujitsu and judo and here you make sure you roll so you can get on top of them in a favorable position again a judo classic uh, you have many great masters doing this kashiwazaki de montfaucon uh, maruyama joshiro just a lot of them so uh, in the kata version you actually push back so they can come back to you and from there you roll your back throw yourself backwards and catapult them so it is very effective it it, it shouldn't be your go-to um, when it comes to self-defense or warfare obviously in competition you can have it as a specialty it's fine but in warfare it's it's best not to go down too quickly to the ground so if you have anything to add please let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content this was shady and thank you for listening